I am ready to do my daily wellness check. So it's about time that I really start becoming productive, and that's what I've done today. I created a um, sort of system point value market for myself, a uh, reward system. Basically, I, I can earn points by doing things I'm supposed to do, and then spend points by getting things I want, or that sort of thing, yeah. Um, so sleep went really well. I woke up early in the morning and got up and started thinking about what to do today. And um, I, I didn't exactly have it all worked out yet. By the time like 12 p.m. rolled around, I was working on this value system. And it was pretty um, well thought out by 1 p.m. And then I just jumped right in. Um, I got I took a shower, I um, got ready, I uh, started to work immediately. And so that's kind of what I've always dreamed of, being able to just sort of like jump in and do work is the fun part of, you know, having a workflow. Um, my mood rating is that I'm at probably like an 8.5 out of 10. It's a very positive, uplifted mood. Um, my needs are still basically good. I did apparently lose, I was kind of PO'd. I lost like five pounds randomly because I guess I haven't been eating as much Apparently too much caffeine intake because I got a coffee machine. I got a uh, cafe barista and those things are really easy to use. So I just kind of make coffee all the time now, which is no more, no longer because I'm saving up points to buy something. I want to buy a box really badly. So I'm saving up points. It's like 766 points is a box. Anything that's a long term investment over $200. Um, so, um, I will then talk about my affect. My affect is that it went from a 7.5 to probably like an eight and a half. So it's at an 8.5, just like my mood, which is a very synergistic thing to have your affect rated at the same rating as your mood. You're basically synchronizing. You can discuss with yourself, your feelings, as well as you know yourself to be feeling. So that's a very synergistic thing. Um, my wants are, I, I, know, I know what I want to buy, so I mean, there's that, but long term, even more things, short term, not that many things. Um, it's cool, people are still sometimes talking to me and sometimes doing their own thing. So I'm also have, I also have time to do my own thing too, um, which is fun. Uh, so um, I am dieting okay as a joke, I'm not dieting. I'm just eating the same casual stuff as usual. Um, and thoughts and logic on current current th things in my life. The thoughts I've been having <laughs> um, are basically uh, just that I, I want to continue this new thing. I want to continue um, making progress on a daily basis and saving up points. So I wake up, get 100 points, I woke up on time. If I go to bed on time, I get 100 points. And just sort of went around that sort of premise where if I read for like an hour, it's only 33 points because that's sort of something I just should be doing for you know, my research purposes. So it's not that big of a deal. But then spending points on like a coffee is like 66 points. So I gotta read for a couple hours if I wanna make that sort of and some coffees are 166, so they're like a large cappuccino, which is a lot of espresso. I can put as much espresso as I want in that one. Okay, um, so that's a new idea. And um, I could really quickly tell you what's on the board here. It's just a little thing that I, I tried to add more categories to talk about the, the thing I talked about in the pet theory video. And it's just a bit of a, um, what would you call these things? States and observables, the model, but it's also about measurement. And then abstraction and synthesis is about filtering and thinking deeply about it and then trying to pose their counterfactual arguments or um, trying to invest some sort of abstract thought into that idea. And then formalism and conceptualization is basically refinement of the idea and so that you, you have a, a fleshed out how it works, what it does, 
where it, where it fits into what category after you've done some abstraction with it. So you've narrowed it down and then you're sort of like placing it in position where it belongs. Uh, dynamical laws and proof, you're, you're refining your understanding. You're giving it a, a really good um, head, head tilt in terms of how to discuss the actual findings and what it all means in a nutshell and how to tr transmit it downstream. And correspondence rules and analysis are your controls. They're the things that hold you back from going too far, extending too far in, in any given domain. So, you know, you're bounded to the controls. And so that's the sort of the design, the explanation, and the justification. And that's the cycle of things. You design something, you give explanation, and then you have to justify and defend by controls. And if I had to make it two things, I would say design and question. So you're designing questioning process and explanation and um, and vision or explanation and mapping, I suppose, is one way to look at it, and justification and um, what did I just say? Justification. Eh, I'll look at the video later and find out. That's why that's great. <laughs> um, hypothesizing that you can... Um, still trying to remember. Okay. Um, well, that's basically all that's going on right now. So it's... I'll do like a quick look here. It's at 1.47 p.m. on the 26th of May. And... It is a very good day to start being productive, being productive. I'm going to be very productive. Okay, cool.